What's up gamers? James is gonna complain about a couple of things today, or re really just one thing. So I, I just, I hate TikTok in general, but I especially, especially hate BookTok because that pertains to me and what I do here on YouTube. Now, you might be thinking, okay, James hates BookTok because they're always recommending the exact same shit, and not really. Or you might be thinking, James hates BookTok because they're stupid, or ignorant, or smug, or arrogant, or obsessed with aesthetics above all else, or really self-righteous, or... Okay, yes, all of that applies. Those are all reasons to dislike BookTok and all reasons that I don't like BookTok. But the main thing that gets me, and has been getting me more and more lately, is all of the stuff they recommend is just erotica. All right, and erotica is a euphemism for something else, which I'm gonna wait until past the 60 second mark to, to say. I don't know if I'll be able to get away with that or not, but we'll see. But erotica is stuff that is really, really sexual, okay? Sometimes it's softcore, sometimes it's hardcore, but erotica is really sexual. It, it's different from romance, which obviously they're not completely separate things, but they are different. Okay, enough time has passed, I can just say now. It's porn. Erotica is just a euphemism for porn. That's what it is. It's something that is there specifically and almost entirely for the sexual gratification of the audience. And just about everything that gets recommended on TikTok is... it, it is porn. Like, sometimes it's hardcore porn in the case of things like Fourth Wing, other times it's more softcore, but th that's what it is. It's porn. And like, it, had TikTok been around years ago, like when Fifty Shades of Grey was big, or when 365 Days was big, those books would have been huge on TikTok, I guarantee it. Because that's what they're looking for. They're, they're not actually looking for story or anything, they're just looking for sexual gratification. Now, I don't think it's a bad thing that you're looking for that. Actually, I did a bit of a rant video on this, like, a year ago on my secondary channel, which you should check out if you haven't, but... Basically, that one was focused entirely on Fifty Shades of Grey. And when that was big, when that came out, like, ten years ago, and then it was big for a couple years, and then it just slid off into obscurity, it's... like, it was all over the place. And again, it was just porn. That's just what it is. But it was pretending to be something it wasn't. And that's really what... one of the main things that gets me about this whole thing. Like, Fifty Shades of Grey and its proponents pretended it was just romance because they were just ashamed of the fact that they were consuming something that is just there for them to demonetize this video to, let's say. You know what I'm talking about. And when Fifty Shades was out and was big, people made tons of fun of it, you know, and people generally disliked it. And people didn't make fun of it or dislike it because it was porn, or I should say most people didn't. There was a bit of an undercurrent and some people came right out and said like, oh, Fifty Shades is mommy porn, as it were, like just, you know, st erotica for bored, middle-aged white women, and yeah, you shouldn't make fun of them for that, like, they're allowed to have sexual fantasies, that's, that's perfectly fine, there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but that was part of the reason people made fun of it, but, and people also made fun of it because it was badly written. In fact, there were a lot of people who joked and said, like, so people don't hate Fifty Shades of Grey because it's porn, they hate it because it's badly written porn. And yeah, I mean, that is kind of funny to think about. And there are a lot of things in the Fifty Shades books that are horribly, horribly written. And by a lot of things, I mean just everything. <laughs> like, they're not well-written books. The movies are not well-made movies. They're, it's really bad. But the only reason that people were making fun of the writing is because people were pretending that it wasn't porn. Like, all the people in the audience were pretending it was for something else. They're, they were going, They were trying to defend themselves and saying like, no, no, I, I would never do anything so vulgar as read pornography. This is a romance novel. It's just kind of steamy or spicy, as the kids like to say nowadays. And I'm pretty sure they were pretending it wasn't because they were just ashamed. You know, they, they were just ashamed of their own sexual sexuality, their own sexual desires, their own sexual fantasies, whatever. They were ashamed of it, but normally when people are ashamed of something, they kind of hide it away. You know, again, you'd think that they would just buy these and, like, keep them hidden in a shelf in their house or something. But they did the exact opposite. They were just openly reading it in public. Like, again, I was in fucking high school when they first started to get big, and 
people were just reading Fifty Shades in class. Like, in what world is that appropriate? <laughs> Wait, do you have any idea how obnoxious and annoying that is when you're not the target audience, or even if you are the target audience, but again, you're like, you're in public, this is not the appropriate time to be doing this? Like, imagine you're on the bus, or in a waiting room, or, you know, just somewhere in public, and then someone pulls out their phone and starts watching Pornhub on their phone in the middle of everything. That would be weird. Like, even if it was a situation where you couldn't see it, and you couldn't hear it, but you just knew that they were watching porn, it would be weird, wouldn't it? So why is it somehow different when it's in written form? I, j I don't understand. Like, again, you can do this, but there's a time and a place for it. And in public is not the appropriate time or place. And then, because, again, they were really big, you would go into, like, Barnes & Noble and you'd have just displays with Fifty Shades of Grey right out in front. Again, that would be weird if they did it with visual porn. I, it, that's such a weird thing to say, but it, it would be weird if they did it. It would make others feel uncomfortable. It would probably make a lot of the people who, e even the ones that were looking for it, kind of uncomfortable because, again, like, you're, you're in public. This is, really isn't the appropriate time or place for it. But for some reason, it's okay with Fifty Shades and the many, many erotic novels that Book Talk recommends. Like, why is that? I just, I don't understand. And again, like, they're just lying to themselves. Like, they are just pretending that it's something other than what it is because they're just ashamed of this. And number one, j you shouldn't be ashamed, okay? Y you shouldn't be ashamed for having sexual desires. That's a normal thing, okay? There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And part of me feels like they're trying to, like, own it by doing this, but you're not owning it. Like, that's the thing. You are not owning it. You are hiding it behind multiple layers to try and obscure it, and then you're pretending it's something else. Like, again, Fourth Wing is, which I read a while ago, is basically porn. It's really, really bad because the first sex scene doesn't come in until like 370 pages into the book. But that, that's what it is. Like up until that point, there's still a whole bunch of talk about how horny the main character is. And by a whole bunch of talk, I mean that is constantly in her narration, like just constantly. But it is still porn. It is still erotica. But no one calls it that. Everyone who claims to be a fan of it, especially over on TikTok, everyone who was claiming to be big into it was calling it romance or fantasy if they really wanted to lie to themselves. Like, ro r fantasy romance was the most common thing I saw, but a lot of them would just say romance, and you, you people are especially lying to yourselves, <laughs> let me tell you. But, like, that's the thing. No one just came out and said, yeah, it's erotica. And a lot of times, with whatever they're talking about, they also refer to spice level, uh, which is basically just differentiating between softcore and hardcore. Like, you know, is, is it R-rated or is it X-rated, basically? And, I mean, I guess that's helpful <laughs> for the people looking for it. But, again, if that's something that you have to specify, stop pretending it's for anything other than what it's for. Okay? It is erotica. Just be honest with yourselves. My God. Because, again, if you're trying to own it, if you're trying to, like, embrace this part of yourself, I'm happy for you. I really am. Like, you shouldn't be shamed for that. And if people do try to shame you for that, well, fuck them. But I really, really hate that this is, one, not, not only just out in public, but two, that that's all that Book Talk talks about. Or pretty much all that they talk about. Like, that's the big mainstream thing, and algorithms just continually uh, push that more and more. Imagine if you were on Letterboxd or IMDb or just, you know, somewhere out there looking for movie recommendations and you're like, okay, I like action movies and then somebody recommended you Hot Housewives Part 3 and you're like, um, that, that's, that, that's not an action movie. And they went, no, 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 see, there's like one bank robbery scene 20 minutes in after the first three sex scenes and you'd be like, y you wouldn't be happy with them for that. You would probably be weirded out. And that's basically what book talk is at this stage. I don't know if it was ever anything different, but that is what it is. It is just people who are ashamed of their own sexuality, their own sexual fantasies, but they also want to broadcast them to the world. So they pretend it's something different. And I gotta tell you, it's not only obnoxious and annoying, it's kind of sad from the outside. It just is. So people, People who are on Book Talk, especially, just stop. 
I, I don't think I'm gonna convince many people that just fucking stop, okay? Or at the very least, be honest with yourselves and go into your own corner when you're doing it. B because, one, people should have an actual space to look for, like, real recommendations where they're really looking for fantasy or sci-fi or romance or whatever. They should be able to actually look for that without just accidentally stumbling across porn and not realizing that it's porn until it's too late because no one who's recommending it is honest with them about or themselves about the fact that it is porn. And it's also annoying because it affects what I do over here on YouTube. Like, you know, my comments are full of people recommending me, oh, read this, or oh, make fun of this, or something like that. And I'm like, why would I make fun of that thing? And I, like, maybe I've heard of it, maybe I haven't, but as soon as I look it up and read a little bit about it, I'm like, okay, that's porn. Like, what? Why? What's the point? There, there is no point to me overanalyzing and poking fun at something that is just there for the audience to demonetize this video to. You know? Like, I... And uh, even if I don't want to talk about it, like, the discussion is dominated by that shit. Like, so much of the discussion in the past couple of years has been dominated by shit like Light Lark and Fourth Wing and Colleen Hoover and whatever the fuck else that they've been going on about. And I just, like, it's kind of annoying because, like, sometimes I'm okay with it. You know, I, I just did a video on the second Light Lark book last week, and I actually kind of enjoy that series for totally ironic reasons. Like, it's very funny to point and laugh at. Uh, but then you got shit like Fourth Wing, which is just miserable to get through, and the only real reason that it got big is because it is erotica. You know, like, there's obviously other reasons which I went into before, like, that it is pure wish fulfillment and stuff, but it wouldn't have blown up as much if it wasn't playing to their sexual fantasies as well as their other fantasies. So even though I really have nothing to do with that part of the internet and want nothing to do with that part of the internet, it still hounds me and it still changes uh, what I am able to do over here. And it's just, it's just fucking obnoxious. <laughs> I hate it. I really, really hate it. So uh, I don't know. I don't think I have much else to do. I feel like I'm repeating myself. I don't want to go on much longer, but uh, again, just to wrap this up and summary, um, pretty much everything that's recommended on Book Talk is just glorified porn. Sometimes it's softcore porn, sometimes it's hardcore porn, but that's what it is. It's porn. S you should stop lying to yourselves and you should be honest with the fact that, yeah, you're reading erotica for sexual gratification. Number two, you should label both the books you talk about and the videos you make a bit more clearly. And again, just be honest with yourselves about the fact that, yeah, this is porn, so that you can have your own part of TikTok, your own part of the internet where you talk about this and share recommendations and stuff, that's totally fine. But just like stop pretending it's other stuff and shoving it in our faces and completely taking over all the other spaces that you occupy. Again, it's pretty much impossible to get like fantasy recommendations or anything on TikTok because of that. And number three, stop getting butt hurt because people criticize these things. Like I guess I didn't talk about that much earlier, but again, there's people who uh, get really upset when you criticize Fourth Wing and stuff and go like, oh, well, obviously he only hates it because it has a lot of romance in it. And I'm like, okay, first of all, fuck you. I've read plenty of romance before. You can go through this channel and when it's well-written and cute and stuff, I, I'm happy to re read it and uh, praise it. I just don't do it a whole lot. But Fourth Wing is bad romance and it's bad in pretty much every other way. But people, again, because they, they just have tied this part of themselves to it. They've tied their sexuality to it and their personal identity to it in a weird way. They just get really offended when you criticize it. So like just, again, be honest with yourselves, acknowledge it for what it is, and then stop taking it personally when other people don't like the shit that you like, okay? Can we just do that? Goodbye. Hello, huge thanks to all of my patrons. You see these names here? Yeah, th these are my patrons. Uh, their names are very cool. You should sit here and read all of them. Especially a thanks to all of my $10 and up patrons, who are Oppo Savalainen, Olivia Rayen, Brother Santotis, Buffy Valentine, Carolina Clay, Chibs Ahoy, Dan Antselievich, Dark King, Dio, Echo, Flax, Jalal Dalul, James M., Lexi Delorme, Liza Rudakova, Lord Tiebreaker, Microphone, Mistboy, Mitzi Mona, Peep the Toad, Roby Reviews, Sad Mardigan, Psych XS, Celine, Cillier the Vixen, Stone Stairs, Tesla Shark, Vevictus, Vimek, Zol, and Wesley. All of you, you're you're all amazing. I swear, all of you, you're you're great. And if you watched until this point, well, you're even more amazinger. So 
yeah, uh, see you later. Goodbye. Like the video, comment on it, subscribe, consider donating, Patreon. What, why am I still talking? <laughs>